Right. Uh, follow meeting to order. 15 years. Look for a motion to adopt the agenda. I so move it. Presented. Second. Discussion on the agenda. Not all in favor? Aye. How about our minutes of our October 14th? Motion to approve. Second. Discussion on the minutes. Do we have a meeting in October? Okay. Oh, uh, I did. Exactly. I, I think it was the administrator's eval was on, in October. Yep. Oh, that's yeah. what sure. Yeah. That was a quick one. Yeah. Rest did a good job. More on disclosure of Anyone has a conflict of interest, just let us know. Any public comments? No public comments. Information <coughs> supervisors not seated as committee members. Hold on, Mr. Mr. Chair, I do see one member of the public. Let me check and see, yeah. make sure they don't have. Mr. Bentz, do you have any public comment? No. All right. Any announcements? Any information to share? of an update regarding the sports rec complex. Yeah, I do not have any new update last meeting that we presented. I, we had hoped to have their final report uh, a little early. We didn't, but we expect it any day. So we'll certainly next week. Any other comments? Uh, is there anybody that's came up with any, you know, possible sites or, you know, you've been talking to different uh, yeah. uh, villages, uh, people? Glad you brought that up. I, there are villages who have expressed interest, meaning, hey, what's this about? What's the potential? Uh, or villages or cities or whatever. Uh, I took the SFA people around, because they just said, show us the lay of the land. What do you have here? So I took them to various areas of the county to say, you know, here's the village, here's where land is, might be available, that type of thing. But no, we have not discussed any sites. But uh, we did take them around and, and say, here are resources, you know, for example, Crowhawk. You know, might that be something that would be a good complement to any type of um, just show different areas where it might be suitable. That would be my question. So, if they know the lay of the land, like right, Cohog and the fairgrounds, uh, yeah, so they know where those things are. Yeah, I know some people, you know, I've heard through the rumor mill, so to speak, that if oh, they're looking at a such and such site, really, it's not the case. We haven't done that. And we're going to have a discussion regarding the uh, ARPA funds. <coughs> yeah, I, most of you probably already had a copy of these, but I thought this would be a good time to kind of update this group, uh, chairmen of the various committees, of what all has progressed as we go through each of the committee meetings. So this is just a summary of the projects and the comments. So again, you all who have been chairs of other committees have seen this. You got your very yeah. good. So I thought it might be worthwhile to give you an update, kind of a recap of what has transpired. If you look at the front page where it says infrastructure, 
uh, I would just highlight, you might want to make a note on your copy. The recycling center was one of the, the ARPA opportunities. And as you recall, at the last board meeting, uh, it was approved, a resolution was passed approving up to $1.62 million. So that would come out of the first four and approximately a quarter million dollars. Uh, I will note also, uh, Ms. Kelly is here, but she has a resolution that will be discussed at board meeting next week regarding ARPA money, which includes on this page, the Justice Center roof of 1.1 million and the museum roof and bell tower at about 150,000. So those are some items that have been uh, discussed many, and if I might, add uh, the Health and Human Services Board agreed that they, in a consensus, said that we should consider a uh, called the motor home, a command center for the police and HHS. So what they did was propose a, we approve or they approved of the recycling center I'm sorry, the Justice Center roof and what else? Oh, oh, wait a minute. We recommended A and B and then uh, A and B of that resolution, yep. but not C and D. No recommendation on C and B. Right. Oh, so it was the radio tower and the site location. What they did not approve or include in that was the Justice Center roof and the museum bell tower. Correct. Now, all right, so the command center, just so you know, we, we, we don't have hard numbers, but our estimate is about 550,000. Uh, and that's where we are with that. Don't we have one? Yes. About 20 years old, as I understand it. Very non functional. So the question is, you know, that will be coming to the board, I suspect, Tuesday night is, do we want to amend Ms. Kelly's uh, proposal or not? So that's probably going to come forward that night. Bobby, you had any comments on this? Uh, well, considering the time, I, I think. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, but what I would still like to see is the original resolution, the four items that were on there. I would like to see it go through as that. The command center, I'm all in support of that, but we have 4.2 million. Probably we'll get around next May. There's no guarantee that that money will go, be able to go be allocated to the general fund like this original 4.2 million. So the things that I have in my resolution, like the roof, and the museum bell tower uh, piece, um, those are things that we can get through and pay for with our funds because that money's in the general fund. The command center, I, I don't know, Chad, you might want to correct me, but I believe we'd have a better opportunity if the second 4.2 million, if it does, if we're not able to put that in the general fund, we have a better opportunity getting that through our funds uh, than we would a roof. So the command center, if we have to use the second batch of ARPA funds for the categories, if we can't claim it as lost revenue like we did this first batch, which we won't know if we can claim it as lost revenue until we close the 2020 budget. If we can't claim it as lost revenue, then we have to use those ARPA funds for the ARPA categories. One of the very first categories is for the uh, provision of vaccines and fighting the COVID outbreak and all which we can directly tie the command center to, so it would fit into one of those categories in the event that that second batch doesn't become lost right. But the existing command center is still functional. It's just that it's old, it needs to be replaced, but it still works yet. Um, some of the things we're talking about, like with the radio towers, um, those are true safety issues now because they don't work now the way they should be working. That we need them to work. The uh, the museum bell tower. That's a historical site. 
we're obligated to keep that thing up to speed. And if you talk to Mo about it, it's it's a safety issue. It's a danger. It's gonna it's gonna somebody's gonna get hurt even going up there getting stuff in and out. Um, and the roof at the justice center it's leaky. I mean we we need to fix it. So I would I would like to see the resolution stay the same as it is. Get the command. We got the command center on the list. Get that on our next priority for the next 4.2 million because I think it's going to make it till next spring. That's yeah. just my well, thoughts. There's got to be a trade in value. I mean, just to do that argument, but we have a five year CIP. Is the roof on that? That's a maintenance issue. That, that shouldn't matter if it's hard for money or not. So, and it just keeps getting pushed every year and pushed. Just that's like everything till you have the money. That's well, that's why I'm saying let's pay for it with ARPA funds and it's ticked off the CIP list. And maybe we get something else on there done. Just well, I'm just saying that's a maintenance issue that should have been, should be on our CIP. It should be on the list. Roofs here and this stuff. I mean, we haven't even addressed anything in this building yet at all. And that's nine million. So, I mean, we get four and spend nine. How is this going to work? Yeah, I did a chair of the government housing human services. And, and here's the dilemma on that. The, the roof is another one of our, our things that should have been should have been addressed under capital improvement. County never put anything away under capital improvement. For me. So Dr. Lagas and, and, and Tom had a presentation and I imagine he will. Yeah, the mobile part of the command center, we're using it for like these vaccinations and that. But the functional part of the command center, in case, you know, the the uh, center goes down and the justice center over there, uh, the command center is supposed to be the backup. And right now, and I think Don will show you, there's no backup. So that's why. We uh, we were so passionate about uh, the the roof is something that should have been done under CIP, and the command center is something that's really life affecting day to day. So that was our contention and our resolution. Is, is that uh, this is a kind of the trend of the meetings? What I wanted to highlight is is when we presented it like this, as you can imagine, every committee says, well, we want our projects taken. And so they're making, you know, so that's, we're getting that from each committee. So I wanted to present to you guys kind of the overall picture, get a sense for what types of things are coming up. And generally, as in the case of that coming up, and we haven't had a deep discussion on the command center other than to say, wouldn't it be great? So I, maybe Don or, Chad, I mean, for example, there is backup if our 911 system goes down, isn't there? With the other counties and yeah, we're having yeah, a mutual aid agreement with Karen Park. Right. Now, post 9 11, there were systems put in place for redundancy. The Justice Center roof, for clarity, is on the capital improvement plan, been there for a couple of years. It's in 2025. Um, Command post is not on the capital improvement plan. It hasn't been put into the plan. Did that just pop up? Uh, I think the command center popped up because of the ARPA funds. Have you heard about the command center issue prior to the ARPA fund money? No. It was brought up as a suggestion, I think, when HHS was going and heard about the ARPA money, or I should say the community services division, and said, trying to find out things that they think should be done. Wasn't that donated to us? Yeah. It was 911, 911 funds. It was a FEMA project. When we got that? Yeah, post 911. Several agencies hey, around the country. What's wrong? That, what's was that 04, 05? Sorry. Uh, I think most of us came in. My question is, is what, what specifically is wrong? I, I know it's outdated. I got outdated work trucks in our fleet. And we just manage, right? So. You know, and I know I've been on the roof at the Justice Center, and I have been upstairs that, so I don't know what the costs were. I mean, this is new too to me, but I do know those items, uh, my construction background, are definitely 
roof is leaking currently now, regardless if it's 2025, they've got money, I believe, low in the budget. You guys are up doing little patches and fixes because I remember being asked to go look at it a couple years ago and I walked the roof. So I guess this command center thing, you know, if it's working and they're currently using it, but if it's parked and it don't start and it don't work, well, obviously it shouldn't. I personally think, yeah, move it to the top. But Can we have Don give the report that he did uh, Tuesday? Just like to know more about what specifically is wrong with the, commit, the current command center. Right. And, that, and that's, I, I can't personally tell you that. Sure. I think maybe Don or I think one who's been using it the most, Tanya, if, if you have any assessment. The one thing I will say, is, again, when these things come up quickly in a meeting, questions that didn't get asked probably is how much was it used prior to COVID? And, and I know how much did we you know, have to recharge the battery or get a new battery because it just sat there all year. So that's- Yeah, those are my questions. Like how much money are we spending every year on worrying about roofs or safety issues? And I know it's a safety issue, but how much money is it to keep cobble in the command center like Sharon said for another year, you know, or put it in the CIP budget for next year's budget? Whether we use ARPA funds or we don't get them, obviously you'd want to put it in the CIP anyway, right? Any maintenance it's in the CIP anyway. It will be no matter what, but it's not currently. Not currently, sir. Sure. Okay. We can plug in. And I can wait till the board meeting to hear too. We're not going to make any decisions today, right? So we don't. But I get it. There's a lot of things the county needs, and now that we have money, if they say the worst thing you do is give a bunch of elected officials eight million dollars to spend. And they think there's 30. So, <laughs> and I'm guessing your staff is probably putting their hand out like they've never done before. Yeah, it, and it, it becomes, you know, uh, my challenge to the staff was we're getting these ideas submitted to us from all corners of the county, right? And different people. And I asked my staff to generate ideas for, for what is needed. And so they worked at what are some potential projects. Now, what I need to do, as some of them came in just recently, is try to prioritize those uh, and, and list them. I mean, Administrator, one of the things I noticed at last county board meeting, and even in this committee, we jumped the gun. Supervisor Duncanson, the resolution on ARPA funds um, for the recycling center, we don't know what that money is going to be used for. We don't know really what's the impact of all of that, but the board voted to jump the gun of the process to fund the resolution. But my sense now is everyone's going to say, hey, let's, that's how we spend the ARPA funds. It's not the process that you laid out. Now but it's now, right. now it's turning into, well, let's just write a resolution and get it spent. Right. Because wasn't that capital improvement yeah. items? Yeah. Too. And they did it that way. So. I get it. I don't have a problem with doing it that way, and then we can wait until the next batch of money comes in. So I personally don't have a problem yeah. spending the money on things the county needs. And I would say this too, that one of the things that I'm kind of sorting through my head and I would pose to you is to look at those things that are well thought out and planned at this round of the funding. You know, some of the requests are coming in and saying, hey, this would be a great idea. We need it. We don't have that defined. It's just an idea or it's a project, but we don't know what it's going to cost, how much maintenance, how much, how many years or recurring costs, that type of thing. So that may be something to consider after this first batch of, of ARPA funds. Um, so again, just to give you an update of what different committees have done. In environmental services, if you go to the next page, Environment and water quality section. I, I think to Bob's credit, they uh, were involved in trying to get a grant for this LIDAR hydrography mapping, which uh, everything I've heard is that it, it would be something that would be very helpful to the county, but it wasn't in the additional funding request. So it was a later request as well. But this one is was presented to environmental services yesterday and environmental services asked 
for who consensus said that this should be considered in that first round of funding. And I think the key there was uh, we are applying for a grant which will pay for over half of it, uh, but we have to do it you know, soon. So, so that's why it's like, let's do it while we can get this grant because we're going in with seven other counties, as I recall. So, and then those others on that page, and again, this is what I appreciated uh, was when I had these in advance, I could work with Bob and his staff and say, what are they? How do we, how do we work? And what would you prioritize? And the LIDAR hydrography mapping was their top request. Of course, it's the most expensive. Uh, in parks and trails, uh, actually, we can take some of these off, right? Because the PTAG uh, projects have already been approved. About 930,000 of it will come from uh, the Lime Quarry Fund. And then the other 550,000 is coming from the fund balance. So those have been approved. Uh, environmental Services did. Two weeks ago, uh, approve or, or recommend that the playground equipment at the park be approved, and not at the sixty thousand level, but at the ninety thousand level. And I know Mo presented. Uh, if we go with two parks, it would be sixty thousand. But I believe one of them had an issue with where it was located, so the thought was to move it. Correct. The additional funding was for the site prep for the playground equipment. So that would come from the fund balance as well. So that can be, I think, removed. What parts are you talking about? Otis Lake and Dee Dee Kennedy. Lake and Dee Dee? Correct. Mm -hmm. That's the running. That was the $30,000. Jeep Zap. And the trailhead project of Woodley Dam can be removed, but I left it on. I left these on here so that we can see what we've covered so far. That too was discussed in the P tag, so that will be included in that 1.45 million. When you talk about the trailhead project, that's that, that's next to the hotel down there, right? Yeah, correct. Well, that's Woodley Dam right there next to that. Yeah, and and because it's on the list, I, I think it'd be okay that I just comment on that. I I brought that up to a few different people about that location of that. There's a lot of concerns on the, the facility next to it. That we're going to steer public is probably one of the. I don't know exactly how to say it. What would be a politically correct way to say what we're setting it next to? Um, and way house. It was troublesome. So you guys, those words, you can, I, I would say it totally different if I wasn't in this room. But um, I have a big concern that we're going to develop a trailhead where we're going to invite people from all over the country and the state to park their vehicles next to probably the seediest piece of property in the county that we know houses some very um, trouble human beings. I find that if we don't deal with that, our health department allows that facility to operate under some oddball rules. It says it's a motel. It's licensed as a motel through the county. And they're not even opened up. It's not even, it's closed every single day. So before, before we go down the road on spending money at Woodley Dam, I would hope county staff and the attorneys and everyone would vet that. Knowing we know that that's a dangerous place, and if we knowingly are going to put something there, and people are going to get items stolen, people loitering, I, I'd be very concerned about that making the list. But it made the list last month. But I don't know if everyone understands what it's really going. So that next would to be list. something to bring up again. As well. I think that's why the cost was up fencing. That included fencing and some other stuff. I can bring it up again at the county board. People are for P tag, or you know, I, I think I'll talk with Bob and we'll see. I mean, it's okay to process. do it, it's a great idea. And I know the county owns the land, that's why it was ranked high, but it was ranked. 
I don't think I just I know it's been brought up already the concerns and I just wanted to say it again because I've heard from the community yeah. that they're concerned about that project. Maybe we could look at alternatives, not a, not just sites, but maybe approaches there. But yeah, we I just wanted to throw that out so you guys realize that that's probably something I'm going to keep talking about. Okay. Uh, also in HHS and, and also in Sharon's uh, proposal, they talked about the radio site which is an important safety feature because we have gaps in coverage for our police force uh, down in the St. Clair Falls area. And uh, Don rolled out a potential site in uh, Taylor's Falls, working on an agreement with them to cover that. I think uh, HHS felt that was important in their resolution to say keep that in Sharon's proposal. And then replacing the microwave radio system. Now, I included that in the uh, additional funding request. It seemed like it would be inappropriate for uh, ARPA money. Uh, you know, it was, in my mind, it was something that uh, could be done possibly next year or the next year. But uh, I think when I look at the priorities of some of these things, Sharon and others I talked to, that seemed Move up high quickly. I'd pass these around if they have not seen these. Sure. I say one thing about those two. Those yeah, two are flushed out. You can see the details there. Don's got all the quotes. Those are re shovel ready projects. So, Administrator, on the next one, mental health emergency housing. Yeah. So, this is what I just talked about. What I would propose on that one is the county then would reach out to that property owner there and purchase that property and turn it into a mental health emergency what housing. What does this say? And clean, Lovely day out there. So out there. And clean it up. If that's what we want to do, and that's a priority of theirs. Which I, I didn't say it's a priority. Well, it's on the list. As, as is everything. That I know. Yeah. I just, if we want to do it, there's a piece of property we could kill two birds with one stone. I do. But I would I would add if can I make a, a recommendation to add that to that line? It says idea identify an area of need. Uh Woodley Dam Hotel. Yeah. What let me explain what that is first, and then you can make your, you know, I don't think I think it's a good idea. This illustrates those next couple there illustrate the types of recommendations I received from people in the community. That was one that perked was simply a an email that said we need housing for people with mental health issues. And that's what there's no cost, no recommendation or anything. I think we'd all agree there is a need right. for that. Now we haven't studied it or investigated it, but I do think that something like that is the type of thinking we need to say, do we have a facility that might be helpful? And that could be one. And yeah, we can clean that up and make it a nice spot. It's close for everybody. Um, there's county run, I'd have no problem building that part there. I'd just like to add that. I'd like to make a recommendation that somehow we identify that as a potential location. Okay. Just for uh, and then the old background, we, used to, we tried to get rid of Golden Age Manor at one time. I don't know, do we want to be in business? Uh, for housing and stuff, does the county want to be in that business? A lot of things we don't want to be, but there are county board votes on it. We'll yeah. find out. Well, you're saying do we want to be in the business of some of this stuff and what the liability is just to take that part on? I understand. You know, we don't uh, have a cost because it's probably if you go in there, the more I'm not saying we have cheaper to be, to I'm not it. saying we have to be in business. I'm just saying it's like the sports egg complex. We're talking about it. The county probably doesn't want to own it, just like we don't want to get into running the fair, right? Well, if we could be a facilitator to bring someone to someone in it. there to run it, that's where more I can have these houses. How many are gone, John, from all these houses that we've had? Okay. Uh, uh, crack, they're, they're, here, they're all gone. It's our they're all gone. It's the other hand, we got it. The other hand, well, that's they're gone. But right here, you but, know, that's yeah. empty. And I'm surprised all these houses covered. are empty that we try to run. Balsam Lake doesn't want it here again. Yeah. We, tried, we tried that this no, right yeah, out. Sure. <laughs> that, 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 that didn't go good. But those are the kind of houses that the county tried to have and, and keep, and they're all gone now. 
Right. They just, it's make up a headache. So, so we can put it in Dan Rook's district. That's his. Okay. So he can run it. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. On this page under health and safety, I, I, I just highlight three to you guys. I, as I mentioned, the public safety radio site, it's actually 350,000. Correct. Instead of 460, Don was able to negotiate that down and replacing the microwave radio system at 1.1 million, which is a solid price. Then the only other one that had interest from the committees was the command post, again from HHS. And uh, the latest we have is best guess was 550,000. And then the final page are the locals. Now, Kind of what I've, my sense from the board, I think we discussed that we wanted to start first with the county centric type programs first. And that's the ones we've highlighted. That's because if you look at many of these local community projects, uh, many don't have really specifics laid out yet. Some do, uh, but then you're getting into that. Why are we going to help this town and not this other town? So, you know, some ideas we can think about maybe in the second batch or second wave if we have flexibility with the money is that many of these are lake projects, for example. Could we create a, quote, lake fund, which would allow communities to either get an interest-free loan, a grant, or something to do projects for their lakes as they come up? Maybe it could be a fund that, that would be available for many years so that we don't just help the one lake district that has the issue this year when we know probably five years from now there'll be another issue at another lake so those are just some ideas but really haven't none of the committees got into the local project in any great detail because we felt i think most committees felt we had enough significant projects with, that had county-centric uh implications that we would start there focus on local later. Just to say to the local people, I mean, uh, of course the roofs and stuff, maintenance help, but I mean, the radio system helps, the command center helps, yeah. the LIDAR helps. I mean, that's for everybody pretty much. I mean, there's some of the things that actually do affect the local people, you know, all of the, the whole county, I think. So we could, I, I think that's kind of the stuff we should rank up there too you know, the radios and things like that. Right. Yeah, so I mean, that should help on some of the ranking at least. So I, I don't know if it'd be, you know, I, I wanted to talk through these things with you. You're the executive committee. Each of the other committees who have specific areas kind of looked at them and said, here's, here's the one or two that we think's important. And I don't know if this committee has a, you know, same opportunity to do that or not. You know, you said, hey, we think, we should recommend a particular project. Well, Vance, I, I get a question. So we have reduced substance abuse as our top priority, one of them, right? Anything in here, are we doing anything to reduce substance abuse? Any of our ARPA funds? Doing the parks, public safety, obviously with the tower, we're doing mostly to catch them. improvement. Yeah, right. We're doing the radios to catch them. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would, I would, yeah, it would have to be under the. Uh, what are we? We keep, talk, we keep talking about our meth epidemic. It's, it's, it's probably the one thing that affects and destroys our community. And we spend, we got reports on it last year on how much money our county spends on meth through our courts, our sheriff, mental health. And we're not, it doesn't seem like we're doing anything more than what it's just status quo. We get our report every month from Chad, which kind of, but we're not doing nothing about it. And I don't mean it that way because I know everyone's doing something about it. Every day someone's going to work trying to stop it. But I've just, like I said before, that's, a, that's our biggest, that is probably, I believe it's our biggest problem in the county. And we're not doing anything more about it. And I don't know if we're doing anything more even on our budget about it. And now we're not even doing anything with ARPA funds about it. I just, I don't know, maybe it's just easier for people not to worry about it. It's a cop issue. It's a judge issue. It's a district attorney issue. 
trying to make progress with CJCC, but I think we're also open to any suggestions. Sure. And I think that's where I go back to that one line item on mental health. <coughs> I think now it's back to substance abuse. Everyone, most of these people have mental health have substance abuse problems. What are other yeah. alcohol? I mean, if we really want to do something yeah. big. Yeah, and to add to what Chris is doing there, you know, like last year when we got all done voting on the budget, we we addressed that, you know, and, and this is something, a topic that we had to act on right away, and it really affects, the drug affects everybody in the county. And so we added that full-time uh, additional person. Yeah, that's and it. so now we're taking, what troubles me, now we're taking, all the ARPA money and putting it in capital improvement pretty much where you know those things should have been done and the budget process yeah and so we're taking things away from that uh what we need to do from day-to-day -day operation i want to make one clarification can i mm -hmm. uh on these two farmington projects the farmington brought it to the table here but those aren't those aren't town of Farmington issues. Um, the uh, the Gator site, there's a that's owned by all of us. It's it's uh, the town of Farmington maintains it. I put the five qualifications together when we bought that for a dollar. But the town of Farmington does not have a deed for that. That is owned by the Department of Interior. I took a picture yesterday. In my I took a picture yesterday. It's owned by the Department of the Interior for the benefit of the United States citizens. And where we have all these putting money in public parks and everything, uh, there's, so they had a meeting last night. Uh, Farmington is putting all their ARPA funds into, uh, they, they tore down the original building that was there. They tore that down last week. It was full of mold and asbestos and that, so they cut that one down. And uh, so they already paid for that. Uh, asbestos and mold had the bricks had to be hauled someplace else. It was all in the bid that A and S had. So they uh, formed a committee now last night, and they're not even from the town of Farmington. The uh, head of the committee is going to be. Uh, Sarah Carlson, she lives in the town of Alden. They formed a kind of a benefit committee for this park that we all own, not the town of Farmington own it. And uh, so they're, they want, what they want to do is have a, a bigger shelter like Garfield and some of these do, but they want to have uh, indoor indoor bathrooms. They should do is put some signs up so you can find the damn place. Yeah. It's easy. But how many people know where it is? I have no idea where it's at. I know that you know, it looks like Lotus Lake or someplace else. You know, everything is not a main I know. But it can be signed very easily. But will the department let them do it? Yeah. Yeah. Let somebody else build on their land. The department says that somebody has got to make improvements there. That's part of the contract. And somebody's got to make an improvement. They ever, there. Would the department ever help them? Like no. uh, transfer the deed to the county? No, it's Hopefully it's, not. Uh, well, then it's then you don't mind making an investment on yeah. someone else's property. That yeah. Well, and you know that's why that's why yeah. the town of Farmington has you know trouble, and so they they formed a committee sure. of, from people outside the township. Like sure. they're taking all their money where they could have put it on roads or something. To help develop that park, because where's it at exactly? <laughs> it's uh, three miles east on County Road X, and then a uh, half a mile to the north. To the north, okay. not two thirty. <laughs> on the left side, it's just it, a it, tremendous it, facility. There, are five acres there. It was beautiful. It's a ballpark. It's in, it was fast pitch and all that. Sure. In the uh, in the uh, proposal now that in the in the money they want to. Uh, they need more money. They need more room for parking. They really can't have a big event there. Sure. They need more parking. There was a Fourth uh, of July deal there one time, and they were down parked on County Road X and all those. So 
So they got a proposal in that contract to buy five acres and Carlson's are willing to sell that. And so we got parks, you know, all over and instead of putting county money in it, the town of Farmington is putting all their money in it. And so that's why they're trying to have a matching fund. And the other one is uh, the town of Farmington has a uh, road access to the St. Croix River. It's the only other one in the county besides the Terrible. St. Croix Falls and Osceola. And you really can't get to it because there's there's a road, you know, a hazardous trail. Now you can drive down there if you've got a four wheel, but there's probably, what would you say, half a dozen people a month? At the most. And mostly canoers. And the yes. site down at the river landing. Nice. And there again, the town of Farmington keeps up the river. You know, the put the rock and that in there, and just think what a what a benefit to Polk County that river access is. You think you, these? I mean, these two ideas. The first thing I think about is just because I sit on PTAG. I mean, that would be something I think if you if that ran through Environmental Services and have them recommend PTAG to to put it in their list of. It, there. it should be in their list. It should be in their list, but no one knows about it, so. Me, I think get it into the PTAG committee and tendency for environmental services and let them guys deal with that. Yeah, they, it I, went to the Supreme Court. There was a Yenicky, you know, the guy that owned land down yeah. there on both sides. Well, Pete Dope. Yeah, there was a, a gentleman who put land on right both sides. So he tried to close that at one time. So in 1950, yeah. it went to the Supreme Court in the United States, <laughs> of the uh, Supreme Court in Superior. And they deemed, and I, we've got a copy of the Supreme Court written report that yes, that was originated from the Indians as an access to the state of Wisconsin and uh, deemed it that it'll always be a public access. No more. Yeah. Yeah. Right by his house. That's what they built a new one right down below, right next to the one. Yeah. He built it. Yeah. He went to the Department of Interior and got it. Yeah, yeah, we just have worked on the agenda today, Ross. But no, there's, a, you know, well, what a great access that is, and nobody knows about it. And right. now they're, they're bringing it up to. Well, let's, let's get to know about it. I, I think yeah. get it on. I think we could make a recommendation to send that information to the Environmental Services. Well, to PTAG, it should be. And that's, that's part of their inventory. You guys have to send it. Or can we send something to PTAG? Executive? Sure. Anybody, anybody finds anything uh, okay. like that. I make a recommendation to send those items or anything. Like, like right now, just for the trails, for example, uh, they're trying to connect Minnesota and Wisconsin, and they're talking about an access uh, maybe when they rebuild the Osceola Bridge. Well, here you got a public access, you know, it's all there. And so you can connect the uh, Minnesota Wisconsin trails I'm right up on through that public access. There's a lot of issues involved. The water but that one. is one of them. Yeah, they all go to the Somerset one next one, four uh, miles down. Right. Well, when I, was town, when I was town chair, I cleaned that access out and I had the uh, the DNR, the chief of the DNR, Pat Harrington, down there. So our question was, well, where do you actually own? Where is the water level here? And he told, he told us, he said, wherever you see the middle of the river there, he said, that is owned by the state of Wisconsin and then on the other side, the state of Minnesota. And he said, as far as your water level is, there's a water level thing on the trees there. Yep. He said, so you own to the water. That's what that LIDAR will do. Map it right out. You go down there. But it is the most beautiful site and you can't get there and it could be really yeah. huge. Hard to get to. It is one thing, uh, Russ, not on that subject, but on the fact that keep talking about spending the money on projects. And uh, a lot of the times we're only trading dollars from our normal budget to this uh, free money, so to speak. So anytime we, we take something and put it into the uh, funds that we have available, the four million, we're really taking a lot of potentially a lot of the of our budgets out 
down that we can utilize for something else like CIP. Well, we gotta, yeah. Projects can move up on the list. And on so the we, every time I hear things back and forth, you know, sometimes we forget that we're not not really spending all the money. We're just kind of trading dollars from one budget to another. So. I mean, yeah, it, it, it's really you're taking stuff from the CIP that we're going to have to pay for in later years and move it up if you use it. Try to move it up. You know, it, it's, it is yeah. worse trading. But there's some. That's, that's, yeah, that's got, the biggest we, thing is move some of them up. That, that every, should be like roofs and things should be moved up. I mean, towns, I, towns do the same thing. It, it, you push them the CIP stuff back and pretty soon you get a great big bill. And, so, some towns, I mean. And I guess, as and I just worry, I mean, not that I worry, the board decides, but, you know, we always thought in the beginning, hey, these ARPA funds, we could do the big idea, right? We could do something that'll kind of set the stage for many, many years in the future. And I, a little bit where Jay just went with, it's like, sure, it's great to fix the roofs right now, but, you know, what benefit does that really have, right, to the future? If it's to the future of the next year's budget. Or the cost of a leak doubles every time you leave it. I, and yeah. I get it. We need yeah. to fix it, but I don't know. I still, I still, I still go back to that original comments that you had when we started this. That, and and there was a number of supervisors that felt the same way. Are we going to do a big idea that changes the direction a little bit of the county? And I in the trails, PTAG did, but the money was coming out of fund balance. And I don't know if that fund, you know, we're not saying it's ARPA money, but it's, you know, think back to Mr. O'Connell has, has always been a proponent of not borrowing as much and just taking it out of the fund balance to pay for the building or at yeah. least part of it. Well, in essence, even if, you know, the money, if, if, if we did say we, the time is now to fix that roof, get it done for just an example, that does take the pressure off the fund balance, which in turn could be used when we have a more formulated big idea, sure. whether it be more work on the trails, whether it be broadband associated, uh, drug associated, whatever, there, it, it frees up that money. And I, I, you know, we're going to discuss in general government the potential of raising the, the limit on how far we can go down into the general fund. Sure. At twenty percent, and so yeah, we look at that and say, okay, what funds would be available at what percent? But you don't think fixing the recycling center, uh, microwave tower aren't big things, and, and like lidar and some of that, those are million dollar things. That's that well, affects big, everybody. They're so big things. I mean, what would we do that would be bigger? Besides tear the building down, build a new one. I <laughs> mean, what would be a bigger thing that we would do? Those, those are things. Those are things. To me, I look at those are those are CIP projects. Those are things like when you you need to buy a new excavator, find a way to finance you buy a new excavator. The highway shop buys new equipment, big ideas all the time. Uh, this building remodel is a big idea, right? Yeah. To me, I think changing the direction of the benefit to the local people. So to me, so this is my personal own agenda is the trail systems and the parks that we're doing is a big idea. That is gonna change the, the feeling of anyone that comes to Polk County that we have all these extra trails. It's it's gonna boost economic development. But then you the know, towers so that their GPS is work and all this, if we can, yeah, but we can, they get hurt we can finance that, we can bond that. You know, if we need to borrow money, you can finance that stuff. And these things- why, why, why borrow if we don't have? Is what I'm asking. That's that was always my attitude. Why borrow money if we don't have to borrow it? Why if we have it? Why do we borrow money? Yeah, no, I, I get it. I mean, we're trying to save the people. Already paid the taxes, taxes. Yeah. The, why why borrow money so we have to raise taxes? Can we keep it right here? Be self sufficient ones. That means money that's just sitting in there. Be careful. But that, that's a double I, I I have here. We've got these. CIP projects that you know we've never put money away for a, a CIP improvement. We know that these things have have to have upkeep and improvements and that. 
and all of a sudden we're taking all this all this ARPA money and bailing out the CIP project. That's just well, but John, you, last month the county board approved a resolution to spend a million six. Well, yeah, the recycling and, center, and I guarantee you, there wasn't a person in that room knows where that million six went for. It never should have happened. And no one knows how much it's going to cost us in the out years to maintain. And I bet you, when we're done with this, a million six is a fraction of what's going to take. To I'm all on board. If the board says we're going to do a recycling center and improve it. I want to see it the best in the county, the best in the state. Well, I'd I would guarantee a million six. Thing to do, but you can't build a lake cabin for a million six no more. And a million six is not going to be enough to fix the recycling center problem. There's there's things in here that actually would have would be making money for the county and for our budget yeah. and sales tax and everything else. And we're just washing that all aside because we got to bail out the CIP project. Kim don't want to borrow no money. Well, we either spend, it, sewer or spend it tomorrow. Sewer contractors are independently up. wealthy. They make yep. a lot of money. So they never have to borrow money. That's that's, that's the difference. That's the difference. <laughs> Carpenters have always had to borrow money. So that's why I don't yeah. borrow money. But then you move houses and you got the million bucks over there. So you, right. you, right. you, right. you got we got seven minutes. So we can let this go on for another five. Good job, Chair. Or yeah. we can move on to our to move on. First thing is that is how do we not spend any money? <laughs> 2021 work. Our work plan should uh, reflect our fund projects. <laughs> That's basically what we're going to do. Yeah, prior 2021, the only amendment I would recommend is in December. Uh, you probably add the uh, you might want to add on you've got Paul um, that right now we have review customer service review recommendations on rules of order including public comment and develop 2022 work plan for the, the next one right those are the things we settled on it last month so we you're saying we should add ARPA funds I mean I don't, well I guess that's the question should ARPA be a recurring thing so it stays on the work plan I think it's a big issue. It's going to be the next issue. I think you're right. I guess my only thing, and I know it's not an executive, but how do we push out the meth epidemic? How do we address the meth epidemic in the county? We do have that on the work plan, so that comes back up. Each year that comes back up in the spring. We go back to the committees and do the reports out like we started this last year. Can so I, that is on the work plan. As a, can I comment on that also? The the meth plan, there is no plan. I mean, there's no, no no real plan on what to do. CIP, CJCC was, was one of the organizations that was started there. They've been working on getting administrators properly. Things are still moving forward. The one thing that, that CJCC does and does well is come up with ideas. And they're going to, I guarantee you that the ARP, our approach to the meth problem is going to come out of ideas from the CJCC program. And that's where we can, uh, can, we, get, where we can really come up with an intelligent uh, sir, a way to approach it. So can we get an update every month then what the CJC is actually doing on the meth issue? That's I can do it. I can do it on this committee too if you want me to do it publicly. I give them a push maybe. Because then if we're gonna have a if we're gonna have an update at the county board, then at least I think then we're going to hear something from them. Right. Right. I think we will. Okay. The problem is that, that. And I think Chad will agree that the problem that we've yeah. had is getting it organized sure. properly and getting the proper administrator in, in place. place. Okay. Getting it in point. That's a heck of a good program. And it's, you're getting input from, from the people on the committee that, that consist of uh, judges, prosecutors, probation, pro. Law enforcement, you know, you get, and and from the uh, abusers themselves, so that the whole project is just an ideal nucleus uh, to come up with an approach to the problem that we're that is existing. We've been throwing money at that for years, you know. Who's in charge? Who's in charge of that organization, the CJCC? It's a corporation. 
Well, you're the representative. Okay. You're the county no. board supervisor. No. So structurally, the reports up to Department of Administration. So yeah. you were Vince. Chance. Me direct. This is my boss. Yeah. It's under but it goes to you. But it should be under general government. They should come through that. Mr. Chair, yeah. can I ask Vince or add a question? Well, we are updating. It's our under the work plan. Updating our 2021 work plan. Work plan? Yeah, well, we're just about to the end of the year on, on our work plan. And what I would still like to see is each one of our, our, our capital projects, a lot of it is in a remodeling, but at least take our 21 work plan, what we did get done, what we didn't get done, and our future for 22, what we have to do to improve our capital work plan, which ones are like how to the roof. Yeah. things like that i just don't know where we're at and we can't tell our constituents uh it's like the, the recycle center and all now we have to answer to our constituents uh where that money went uh, so in the initial projected budget the new five-year capital plan is in there but tuesday there'll be, or after Tuesday, there'll be a revised one with any changes to the budget. Yeah. And that'll come out after Tuesday. So if you want to discuss that, that'll be the final one after this. Can we get a report then of that five-year capital plan and maybe see which one uh, we did in 21 or didn't do in 21 and what our prod plan work plan is for 22? Yeah, because I think That's what, it. I think what John's saying is what I hear too, is that supervisors have said it and the public, is well, I thought that was in the CIP. We hear that all the time. And then you realize, what does that mean when people say that? Oh, I thought we put money in to this, but it never really gets in there. And then at the end of the year, if we don't vote it on it the next year, it's not there. Take down the road. And I think that's a lot of the confusion sometimes. So if you so vote on it two, three years ago, it's going to happen and, and it doesn't. Money gets committed for. 2022 this year. Right. Now, you know, that's what we assess. That's what we study. Now, each director may come to me and say, but I also want this, 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 and this. And I don't give it. I mean, it's not, I don't approve it, yay or nay, at that point. We just put it on there to keep us alerted to it. Because sometimes, believe it or not, a director might put something and say, it'd be really nice to have. I don't think I'm talking about that. I'm talking about specifically like the fairgrounds. How many years ago our county board made a resolution to fund a new grandstand? Something about money. Never happened. But it never got funded. It was never on. Yeah. It wasn't a director. It was the board made a resolution to do it. And it never happened for lots of reasons. And I'm just using that as an example. So I the think CIP is for funds available sometimes too. I mean, right. Yeah, what, to what do you want on the work plan? Want something on that on our work plan? Like See, John I mean, does like something that would right. be on the work plan to understand how do we improve that process so we all know something like that's going to get on. What? So, yeah, our GIP thirty seconds. Uh, okay, so is the question. Get it on. You want you want to review the capital improvement plan budgeting plan? Correct. 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 Right. Anything else on the work plan? And our funding stuff. Yeah, mental health um, project. Yeah. Oh. I just I just made that as a recommendation that we look into it. I don't know how that travels out of this we'll committee. Put it on the agenda for the next meeting. Okay. At least we'll be discussed. I'd like to put that on there. Right. Right. The subject matter for the next meeting. And the specific language is out of what's on the ARPA categories. Um, so let's just track it to that. Mental health, mental health emergency housing. Anything else for our next agenda? What did you have, John? I made a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Bad. Calling the federal government. I was wondering.